Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand and today's topic of choice is growth and development. We are discussing growth and development. In the previous video, we discussed few important syndromes and important sutures, metopic suture causing trigonocephaly, coronal suture causing brachycephaly and sagittal suture causing dolicocephaly, details of which we have done in the previous video. If you have not watched, please watch and feel happy about life. Most importantly, coming to this one, so identify the syndrome. So can you identify this syndrome? Syndrome, any idea? Can you see any findings in this? Yes or no? Any idea? Any random guesses? Number one, can you see a depressed nasal bridge? Yes or no? Can you see a depressed nasal bridge? Point number one. Yes or no? Can you see a smooth philtrum? What is this, this philtrum? Can you see a smooth philtrum? Yes or no? So smooth philtrum. Can you see a thin upper lip? Yes or no? Yes or no? So thin upper lip. Yes or no? So, so depressed nasal bridge with smooth philtrum with thin upper lip. Did you get it? These three points. Very good. Very good. And most importantly, can you see? Can you see in this video short palpebral fissure? Nothing but the the distance of this short palpebral fissure. So number one, short palpebral fissure with nothing but smooth philtrum with thin upper lip. These are the three points. Now see, we are reaching towards the diagnosis. Okay, we are reaching towards the syndrome. So we like top five points. So this is this. Okay, like that. So short palpebral fissure with smooth philtrum with thin upper lip with nothing but what do you think of? And mother consuming alcohol. What can you think of? We can think of fetal alcohol syndrome. So most importantly, fetal alcohol syndrome as also it causes microcephaly. Then we have the epicanthal folds. Then I told you about the short palpebral fissure. And most importantly, these babies can also have deafness. These babies can also have deafness. Okay, you want to revise? Again, okay, fine. What are we studying? We are studying pediatrics. Which topic? Growth and development. In growth and development, one syndrome is important. Which one? Fetal alcohol syndrome. So what, what, is, what is that? Sir, nothing sir. It's very easy. Mother taking alcohol, baby will have fetal alcohol syndrome. Baby will have microcephaly with epicanthal folds with smooth philtrum. Thin upper lip, depressed nasal bridge, low set ears. These are the important points. And these babies can have deafness. Microcephaly, I have told you, and they will have developmental delay. That finishes fetal alcohol syndrome. Did you get it? If you have actually got it, let's see one MCQ. Let me see how you can do it. Most importantly, what is this? This is nothing but epicanthal folds. This is nothing but epicanthal fold. Epicanthal fold is important. Okay. Define epicanthal fold. It is a fold. It is a skin fold of the upper upper eyelid covering the inner corner of the eye. It is a fold of the upper eyelid covering the inner corner of the eye. It is a fold of the upper eyelid covering the inner corner of the eye. Understood? Finished? Very good. Very good. So DNB June 2018. Most importantly, let's see fetal alcohol syndrome comprises of what? Fetal alcohol syndrome comprises of what? Does it say comprise of microcephaly? Yes. Does it comprise of deafness? Yes, sir. You told. Does it comprise of short palpebral fissure? Yes, sir. So the answer is all of the above. Did you get it? Very good. Perfect. So, okay, now we'll discuss the special features and you will tell me it comes into which diagnosis. Number one, if I talk, if I say broad thumbs with great to deviated medially. If I say you broad thumbs with great toe deviated. So what you will think of? You will think of Rubinstein type B syndrome. Yes or no? Have we studied it? Yes, sir. You nicely have told. Very good. If not, please go back and watch the videos in the, pre in the beginning ones. We have discussed Rubinstein type B syndrome, Patau syndrome, everything. So broad thumb with great toe deviated. I have to blindly think Anand sir has told Rubinstein type B syndrome point number one. You saw low set ears. You saw the great toe deviated. You saw the broad, broad thumbs basically. Yes or no? So Rubinstein type B syndrome. We saw the beaked nose. Okay. High arches. These are the extra points. Next, very important. If I say absent clavicle. If I say absent clavicle, then what will you think of any idea? Absent clavicle. There's only one, one short, short diagnosis. If I say absent clavicle, this picture, beautiful picture showing. And the answer is cledocranial disostosis. Cledocranial disostosis. Absent clavicle. Understood? Very good. Next, wonderful picture. Any idea? What is this? This iris color is different and this iris color is different. What do you call it? Any idea? Any idea? Give me one link. So, a change in the iris color, nothing but known as heterochromic iridis. 
heterochromic iridis heterochromic iridis nothing but change in the color of the iris so what are we studying we are studying one syndrome where you have heterochromic iridis what is that? nothing but it is nothing but in iris so most importantly iris in one eye has a different color than the iris of the other eye known as heterochromia iridis yes or no and most importantly there is a color part of the eye basically eye so what what is the, this is iris see see this is iris this colored part is iris one is one is blue and one is red or any any other color are you getting it what are we studying we are studying one syndrome the points were number one there was there was heterochromic iridis if a baby has a hearing loss with heterochromic iridis with distinctive hair coloring so you will think of wardenberg syndrome wardenberg syndrome this is the picture sir could you repeat yes yes of course number one there was heterochromic iridis number two there will be distinctive hair coloring little flock of the hairs will be little change in the color and number three there will be hearing loss so you will think of Wardenberg syndrome. Did you get it? Yes or no? Very good. Now this is a cute picture. Who will tell me? Fast, fast. Who will tell me? So sir, nothing sir. This looks like a, this looks like what? This looks like a web neck. Okay sir, web neck. Sir, sir, what do you think? Then what should we think sir? Web neck. If there is a web neck, what will you think of? Sir, I will think of Noonan syndrome. I can think of Turner syndrome. And I can think of Treacher Colin syndrome. Okay. So most importantly, Noonan and Turner should be your focus of choice. If there is a web neck are you understanding so this is a web neck nothing but noonan syndrome and turner syndrome you should think of number one number two sir uh, okay what is the difference sir remember turner syndrome i am showing you a web neck i have to show you a female baby with a web neck turner syndrome it's always females having a web neck their ovaries have a streaking of ovaries they are always infertile but their iq is good these are the five points I have told you. Again, I'll repeat. What are we reading? Causes of web neck. If I show you a web neck, sir, okay, if you show me a web neck, I will think of Noonan syndrome and Turner syndrome. Okay, how do you differentiate, sir? Turner syndrome will be a web neck with a female. Having female with web neck and she will have streaking of ovaries, nothing but she will have, she will be infertile and her IQ will be good. These are the points of the Turner syndrome. Okay, most importantly. And what are the points of Noonan syndrome? See, see this fast, you'll get it. See, Turner syndrome and Noonan syndrome. Point number one. Point number one, they are only females. Okay, they have infertile due to streaking of ovaries. And opposite is that one. Nothing but it is males and females. And they are fertile but delayed puberty. They can have babies but they have delayed puberty. They are infertile due to streaking of the ovaries. Point number one. Point number two. Turner syndrome sir has karyotype 45 X. Oh, whereas the Noonan syndrome karyotype is normal. Okay, 45 XO Turner, normal karyotype, nothing but Noonan. Are you understanding? And most importantly, even though they have streaking of the ovaries, their intelligence will be normal. Whereas Noonan syndrome, they will have intellectual disability. They will have intellectual disability. And most common, again, PG question in a lot of videos I have told, which is the most common congenital heart in uh, Noonan syndrome? The answer is pulmonary stenosis, which is the most most common congenital heart in Noonan syndrome, the answer is pulmonary stenosis and you should know they these one have an anti-mongoloid slant. Noonan syndrome have anti-mongoloid slant. treacher colin syndrome, they have anti-mongoloid slant. Did you understand? Very good. So after finishing differences between Turner syndrome and Noonan syndrome, now Turner syndrome has to be the causes like the point of Turner syndrome has to be taken in consideration. So see this girl, can you see this woman? Basically she is turning a wheel, she is going to drive and when she is turning a wheel, her, the driver is very short. I will repeat again, can you see this woman? She is short. Can you see? She is driving. So, driver is very short. Can you see that? So, these babies can't, these patients basically, they can't drive big, big cars, right? They need, they need a car with a low cabins. Yes or no? Which has a low space, low foot step, right? Low cabins, right? I'll show you one more picture. Can you see this female? She's having a Turner syndrome, but can she drive a normal car? No, sir. Which car she should drive? She should prefer a car with low cabins so that it's easy to access, come in and easy to go out. So, low cabins, low cabins right from in your notebooks low cabins l-o-w-c-a-b-i-n-s so why sir why are you telling so much about low cabins because these are the points of the turner syndrome turner